In the roaring din of the city, the death of the ADDC's vice director hardly made a sound. Behind his death are the vast profits of the AD9 drug. Yagami arrives at the possibility that all the deaths were premeditated. But the prosecution's eye for such detail is wanting, and Detective Ayabe is indicted for Shintani's murder. Striations on the recovered bullet are a perfect match to his firearm. There's no doubt. He's the one. <laughs> like it or not, he's going down. Apologies for keeping you in the dark. It was imperative for Ayabe to be completely oblivious to our suspicions of him, after all. This is a murder charge against an active officer. To put it plainly, it takes more effort to actually make an arrest. So, we had to pretend you were our primary suspect. You and Ayabe have gotten to be pretty cozy these days. Suspecting you was the perfect way to divert his attention. I see. So this was all some kind of act? An act? Not at all, I assure you. And I believe you should know. We're aware of Ayabe's side job. Ayabe was an informant. A spy. He was selling police intel on the black market. We plan to investigate those transactions thoroughly, Yagami-san. And so, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if we see you again in the near future. Speak of the devil. We were just talking about you, Ayabe-san. Listen, Yagami, you gotta help. Someone set me up. They're saying I killed Shitani. Me. Me. Uh-huh. You're not surprised? Not quite. I already heard. I'm sitting here with the prosecution as we speak. Huh? Yeah, they're looking right at me. Please, Yagami, you have to take my case. I don't know where else to turn. Okay, I'll do it. It's only fair after all you've done. We can talk more later. I'll be there soon. So, I'll see you in court then. Who do you have on the job? Izumita? Should be a good time. Someone is using you, Prosecutor. No matter who that person is, I'm not losing. So that's the story, Kenda Sensei. We're gonna take the case. Uh, of course we are. Anyway, you're gonna go talk to Ayabe, right? I'll send Hoshinokun along. Yep, I'm heading over right now. You asked for it. 
I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san. We can go see Ayabe whenever you want. We'll just need to grab a taxi to get there. It seems the news of Ayabe's arrest is spreading like wildfire. An on-duty detective arrested for murder. <laughs> now this is a shock. Try not to look so happy about it then. This is Hoshino-sensei from the Genda Law Office. He's young, but he's reliable. Oh, here I thought the great Takayuki Yagami would represent me. It's been years since I defended someone in court. I'll still be gathering all the evidence, though. Don't worry. It worked for Hamra. I'm Hoshino. I'll do whatever it takes to clear your name. You sure, kid? Shintani was practically your boss, huh? If I'm really the killer... Well, I mean, you're not the killer, right? Uh, he's not the killer, is he? Probably not. What do you mean, probably? I hear your gun's the one Shintani was murdered with. Yep. Apparently the rifling on the bullet matched. Um, what's rifling again? Really? Uh, sorry. So, guns have these spiral-shaped grooves on the inside of the barrel to stabilize the bullet's trajectory. These grooves are called the rifling, and leave a mark on the bullet itself. Whoa. Now, the rifling's slightly different on every gun. Kinda like its fingerprints. And apparently, the marks on the bullet that killed Shintani matched my gun's rifling. So your gun must have killed Shintani-sensei? Yeah. It was the murder weapon, for sure. So, someone used my gun to commit the crime, and I'm being set up. But how? You remember the day he died? We were having a nice stiff drink at Tender. You, me, and Kaito. Yeah, I remember. That was my first time meeting Kuroiwa. I hung around after you guys beat it. It wasn't a while till I decided to go home. Thing is, I don't remember what happened next. Huh? Someone smacked me in the back of the head. Crept up so I couldn't see him. You got ambushed? Where was this? Close to the bar, I bet. But... I'm not sure. It all happened so damn fast. Some great detective work there. What do you expect? Whoever knocked me out moved me, too. That just fucks with things even more. Moved you to where? Random bench, over in the Kamurocho Children's Park. Not a soul around when I came to. That's a ways from Tender. They must have taken you in a car. 
How long were you out for? An hour or so, Tops. But as I found out later, that hour's when Shintani was murdered. With my fucking gun. So the real killer still has your gun? No. It was in its holster when I woke up. Wait, what? Whoever attacked me took my gun, murdered Shintani, and put it back where they found it, all within the course of an hour. So the only thing missing was a bullet? Not even that, if you'd believe it. They got rid of any sign it had ever been used. Maybe if we look at the bullet from Shintani's body... Not gonna happen. Nothing spectacular about a single bullet. By the way, did you tell anyone you got attacked? Nope. I mean, nothing even got stolen. Reporting it just would have put me in more trouble. Don't want to draw attention to your side job, huh? Sucks being a dirty cop. A real detective could have reported it. Ah, can't argue there. The culprit must have been counting on that, though. They went after you specifically because they knew you wouldn't make a big deal out of it. So it was all planned. Planned or not, the bullet that killed Shintani ended up with your gun's rifling marks on it. There's no denying that. Yep. I only found out when they hauled me in, though. No surprise they suspect me. There's no reason not to at this point. But none of my co-workers said a damn word. Hey, you know how Kuroi has been dragging me all over town with him? He probably just wanted to make sure I didn't skip town. Only just realized that now. What did you say is your alibi? That you were knocked out in the park? Not a very believable story. Come on. You and I both know I didn't kill him. Somebody's pinning it on me. <sighs> what do you say, Yagami? You think I got a chance? <laughs> You'll be just fine. <laughs> That was a dumb question. Nobody's gonna tell a guy his head's on the chopping block. Listen up, Oshinokun. Ayabe was set up by whoever killed Shintani. That's what we've got to work to prove. You really trust Ayabe-san? What if he's lying to us? He might be a dark stain on the forest, but he's a decent guy. Smart, too. He wouldn't kill, especially not with his own gun. Someone else did this. You think it's the mole? That's the most obvious suspect. Let's start by talking to someone close to the case. I've got a guy in mind. Which would be... Oh, Captain Hamura. Mm-hmm. But nobody knows where he is, right? That's true. I wonder what Matsugane-san's thoughts are now. If anyone's gonna know where to find Hamura, it's him. Good. Well, I'll head back to the office then. I should tell Genda-sensei what we learned. Ha! <laughs> 
Looking for Higashi Anaki? He's back in his office. What do you want? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong again? I need to know where Hamura is. Still hiding. Not a clue where. What about Matsugane-san? Is he back at the office? Use your head, talk. No way he's gonna stick around there. Kaito-san? Hamura and the boss are in the same boat. Those Kyorei assholes would hunt him down in an instant if they were easy to track. Exactly. Wherever they are now, they're safe. No idea where that'd be, though. Can't you at least get in touch with them? Just say we want to have a few words. I can try. I'll let you know once I figure shit out. You know how to pick up a phone, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Hoshino-kun told me about Ayabe. Said the mole framed him. Guess he's really behind all of this. Yep. Which brings us right back to Hamra. We'll start from him and go from there. Plain and simple. Let's just hope Matsugane-san knows where he is. Well, no point worrying about that until Higashi gets back to us. Let's hit it. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。
いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございました。Hey, any word from Matsugane-san? What'd he say? Meet at a restaurant called Kamuroki Kunoya. We're ways out of the city. Take a cab. Boss is already there. Got it. Thanks, Higashi. Don't keep him waiting. Where'd you go? Guess we're doing this. <laughs> Stay down. Let's roll. You don't have much. ありがとうございました。
Really, guys? Matsugane-san, our guests have arrived. Good. Please, take a seat. It's been some time, Tuck. And you I haven't seen since your expulsion. Yes, sir. Matsugane-san, I'm sure Higashi mentioned this, but I want to ask you directly. Come now. Let's at least have a drink first, huh? <laughs> if you say so. Here. Place is pretty fancy. It's been a while since the three of us drank. Attack, I have a favor to ask. You need to stay away from Hamura. Uh, what? This family is nothing without him. Well... Is the only thing keeping us afloat. Yeah, you told me that already. Where is he? I don't know. He has no reason to keep me informed of his every move. Then why did you call us here? We didn't need to come all this way if that's all you had to tell us. Boys! Understand. My boy, you need to stay away from Hamura. The mole's my top priority now, and Hamura is the only person I can ask. Don't you understand? Hamura's been compromised. Him and that mole you're chasing, they're in this together. Time to let it go. What if I say no? I couldn't tell you what might happen. He's dangerous. What do you mean, he's dangerous? If you can't tell me that, why should I stop? Amara. The boy has money on his side, and a lot of it. And I... don't know who he gets it from. I suggest you don't push the matter. But if you really want to put yourself in harm's way, then let me be the one to do it. At least then you'll make it out alive. You'd do that? You know, you and Kaito, well, I've always tried to keep you two kids safe. All this time, I've never asked for anything in return. But here we are. This is the only thing that I'll ever ask of you. Abandon this pursuit of the mole. If you've ever held a shred of regard for me, then heed this one request. I'm not turning back. The risk doesn't matter anymore. Okubo, the mole, the ADDC, it all connects. This isn't about what regard I have for you. I won't stop. Then I'm sorry. <clears throat> Boss. I've always looked up to you. And good Yakuza don't disobey. 
But now... I'm in Yagami's corner, damn it. Yes, that you are. Matsugane-san! Higashi. Uh, sir. Pick your side. I've had enough. You're Matsugane, are you not? I am, boss. <laughs> Prove it, then. <laughs> Bad luck, dude. Guess we're doing this, huh? Not like we got a choice. And now that we're up against the wall, you're just gonna have to do it. Let's see what you've got! I'm sure he's gonna be just fine. Time to die! That was simple for you two. Far too simple. Makes me realize how old I really am. It's a shame, isn't it? That I've all but faded away. Ah, time sure flies, my boy. Just gets worse and worse with every year. Damn tragic. Matsukane. And stay down, asshole! Not gonna be that easy. 
<sighs> You're really laying it on him, Kaito. Oh, boss. Is this the Yagami kid you were talking about? Yep. Happens every fucking time I run into the guy. So, asshole, you, uh, get some kind of sick pleasure out of him beating the crap out of you? Time after time, you just keep coming back for seconds. You all right in the brain, kiddo? I'm saner than you, you bullshit Yakuza. Huh. Bullshit Yakuza, huh? Some rotten attitude you got there. Hey, why don't you go fuck yourself? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Back in the day, I was a lot more like you than I think you even know. I was in a real bad place, so I just started punching anything that pissed me off. And before long, my time was up. Nowhere left for me to go except this cesspool of a city. And you, my boy, that's exactly where you are. Don't talk like you know me. You don't know shit. Oh, but I do, you see. When I was your age, my life was going down the shitter and I just kept flushing. And now, <laughs> you, my boy, you're the same little punk I was. I can tell. You know, sometimes people have no choice but to turn to the Yakuza. But, even if my chance is gone, you've got a future ahead of you. <clears throat> now, I might have called this place a cesspool. But it's more than that. Kamurocho. It's a city of dreams where even from the gutters you can shoot for the stars. So if you want to get ahead in this town, well, kid, I'll teach you everything I know. But look, if nothing else, you might want to lay off your little date nights with Kaito. In times like these, it's hard to even enjoy a drink. The mole you're searching for is a hired gun employed by Hamura. An assassin? Yes. It seems Hamura always turns to the same person when he needs someone taken care of. That's your killer, without a doubt. Do you know anything about him? No. But whoever he is, he's a goddamn pro. He's killed several people now the exact same way, yet barely left a trace. Do you know what he looks like, at least? No. The only one who does is Hamura. Are you still going to pursue this, Tuck? That's the plan. You should know. Even if you track down Hamura and the Mole, that won't be the end of it. They're just puppets on a stage much larger than you realize. And once you step foot on that stage, there's no hiding from the limelight. Do you understand? I'd rather try and regret it than never try at all. Huh. <laughs> Nobody listens to their elders these days. Sorry about this, boss. Seriously. Can I just say one thing, Matsugane-san? What is it? The Matsugane family I know would never turn a blind eye to cold-blooded murder like this. You say you can't exist without Hamura, but... Don't make me repeat myself. Times have changed. Hamura is the Matsukani family now. It's not my place to interfere anymore. 
That's my prerogative as Patriarch. Matsugane-san. Thank you for everything. All that, still no clue where Hamura is. We're back to square one. Not exactly. The boss slipped us a pretty big hint. Oh yeah? When he was talking about Captain Hamura. Hmm? He might be in hiding, yeah. But the family looks to Hamura for guidance now. He's gotta be communicating with them somehow. If we can just listen in on one of their conversations, that should lead us straight to him. We just gotta get ears in there. You follow me? I think I do. You wanna bug their office. Exactly. But after everything that just went down, you know what'll happen if we get caught. They'll kill us. Which means, we'll just have to enlist the help of an expert burglar. Aha. Uh -huh. You wanna make Sugiura do it. I'll give him a ring. You go track down some bucks. Me? Make sure they're HD audio and shit. Meet me at the office once you've got them. Stay down. Come <laughs> ありがとうございました。Really, guys? Hey, Tsukumo. Oh, Yagamishi. What is it this time? I'm trying to keep this on the down low here, but I'm looking for bugs. Think you can help me with that? <laughs> you know who you're talking to, right? Of course I can. Thought so. Well, any time works for me as long as I've got the parts. You're gonna make them by hand? I won't find a safer pair of hands than literally my pair of hands. 
Plus, you get a friend discount. If you say so. Anyway, what do you need? I'll run to a department store and pick him up. <laughs> no need. Here's a riddle. You can get me from here, but I am not here. What am I? What? <laughs> Online shopping! Things get here in no time with rush shipping. I'll just need you to give me the cash. How much are we talking? For parts and labor, let's say... a hundred thousand? That's with your friend discount? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm taking a loss on it for you, Yagamishi. <sighs> All right. Just let me know when you have the money, and I'll put the order in. <laughs> that money burning a hole in your pocket? It's gonna run you a hundred grand for parts and labor. Here you go. <laughs> Thanks. It's gonna take a while, but I'll let you know when I'm done. Sounds good. Really, guys? up to you. いらっしゃいませ。今日ちょっと帰り遅くなりそうなの。北海道でお会いしましょう。あなた。あの、この間の仕事の件ですけど。もしもし。あなた。今日、今日は朝からびっくりしたし。あの、この間の仕事の件
ありがとうございました。Really, guys? Long-awaited time has come. Your order is ready. Long? Felt like you did that pretty fast, actually. I'll be waiting in the usual spot. Mind coming over? Not at all. See you in a bit. guys.
Stay down. guys. Got here fast, Yagamishi, says the guy who makes bugs in ten minutes. <laughs> well, I can't refuse a compliment. Here you go. They're designed to blend into a power outlet, so just plug it in. Oh, and the signal range is 100 meters. It'll even go through metal plates or other obstacles, meaning you can listen from, say, the roof of a building? That's perfect. I think this is gonna work. You can turn them off remotely, too. So you don't have to listen constantly if you don't want to. I have to say, even a great detective like you would have trouble finding these, Yagamishi. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely true, but thanks anyway. You're a lifesaver, Tsukumo. <laughs> You're very welcome. Just stopping by for a bit. More like I got dragged here against my will. You get the bugs, Chuck? Sure did. Good. Take a seat. So, you want to tap the Matsugane office? Kaito-san told you, huh? Yep. Now explain what you told me, Sugiyoro-kun. Well, uh... It's impossible. No way I can sneak in. They've literally got guys on watch, man. The cameras had seen me going in and out, too. Think about what would happen if I got caught. They'd beat me to death. Guess we're screwed. This isn't a joke, Kaito-san. What are we gonna do? All right, all right, chill. I thought of something else. If Sugiura doesn't want to sneak in, we'll just find you a disguise. Huh? Just tear me out. You know this guy, Tak? Who's that? Guy's got a killer jacket. One of the Matsugane goons, yeah? Yep. Name's Tashiro-kun. The snazziest fucking Yakuza in town. Guy never takes his shades off, even at night. You know, 
His height and build are awful close. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. If Tashiro Kun was wearing a face mask, nobody'd know he was actually a different person. They wouldn't have a clue. Good idea. So what? You want me to dress up like Tashiro Kun and infiltrate the Matsugane office? Bingo. First things first, we gotta find him and grab his clothes and shades. The rest will be simple. Just walk in there and plant the bugs. Oh, and here I thought I was gonna be able to sit this part out. It's all in your capable hands now. I gotta say, Kaito-san, you really thought this through. You know, before today, I always thought I was gonna end up back in the family somehow. What's that? But there's no way. Not now that I defied the boss. Guess there's no turning back, though. Might as well see this through to the end. Gotcha. Now let's go get Tashiro-kun's clothes. Let's roll, talk. Kaito-san. Sup? Do you, uh, have any idea where Tashiro-kun is? Let me think. Last I heard, he was working at a cabaret. Looking there might be our best bet. Which club? I think it was called Emerald Hills, over on Shichifuku Street. Sounds like we have our next stop, then. Let's hit it. Do you have a second? Welcome, sirs. Table for two? Actually, we want to ask you a question. This place is a Matsugane joint, yeah? Um, uh, yes, sir. Why do you ask? We're looking for somebody. You know a guy named Tashiro? Tashiro? Flashy jacket, always wears his sunglasses. You gotta know the guy. Oh, him. There you go. I knew you'd know him. Any idea where he is? <laughs> Actually... He was in the club just a second ago. A customer was giving us some trouble, though. So he saw them out. Personally. I'm guessing they didn't go out for drinks. Where did Tashiro take him? Probably toward Tenkaichi Street. He said there's a back alley nobody ever goes in there. <laughs> Smart. If you're gonna beat the crap out of someone, better to do it where nobody's gonna find you. Sometimes I think you kind of miss doing that shit. Anyway, let's get moving. Right. Thanks, pal. Oh, of course. You don't give up, do you? <laughs>
Listen, you old fuck! Didn't you see the sign? You can look, but not touch! <laughs> Please, I never touched anyone! Huh? Bullshit, you didn't! The girls know all about your pervy ass! There he is, Tashiro Kun. You, uh, weren't kidding about how he dresses. I'm actually kind of impressed. Huh? Wait, you're Yagami! Oh, congrats. You recognize the guy your whole family's after. Shut it, asshole! Um, I I'm just gonna... Hey! Get the hell back here! Damn it! He got away because of you! Let me guess. You made that up to try and squeeze cash out of the poor bastard. Guy like that wouldn't cop a feel even if your girl wanted him to. Huh? The fuck do you know? Huh. Sounds like you were right on the money. Of course. That's how shit goes around here. It's only fair that we take his clothes, yeah? What do you mean? The hell are you talking about? We'll give them back as soon as we're done. Won't be long, promise. Fuck off! You got any idea how much these threats cost? Not a one. But you know how dangerous Kamurocho is. Should've expected somebody want to jump you. We won't have to hurt you if you just hand them over. Everything will stay nice and clean, too. It's a win-win, so? Are you stripping or not? What kind of question is that, pretty boy? If you want my clothes, you're gonna have to rip them off! Okay, let's just get this over with, Talk. Yep, don't want anyone walking in on this. Shit, this guy's fucking loaded. His wallet's burst into the goddamn seams. Don't take his money, we're not thieves. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wait, don't clothes count as stealing? Like I said earlier, we're just borrowing them for a bit. If you say so, you're the lawyer. Man. They fit even better than I was expecting. You look good, Doc. That's the last thing I want to hear. Anyway, you better get to the Matsugane office and plant those bugs before our friend wakes up. Speaking of, Kaito-san, think you can take care of him? Huh? What do you mean? We can't leave the guy naked outside this time of year. <laughs> Always a big softy. Sure, I'll handle him. Can't go with you anyway, not looking like regular old Kaito. Thanks. Talk. Don't mess this up. I won't. Hello? <laughs> what in the absolute fuck is this? <laughs> oh, spare me. They're not my clothes. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm okay. 
See you out front of the Matsugane office. All right. I'll be right over. いらっしゃいませ。Good stuff。ありがとうございました。Sorry for the wait, Sugira. Ugh. Hey, Sugira? Sorry, I think you have the wrong guy. <laughs> God, I just can't help it. God, we don't have time for this. <laughs> I can't help it, man. That's the loudest disguise I've ever seen in my life. Maybe you want to try planting these instead? Sorry, sorry. It's, it's perfect. Honest. Yeah, whatever. Can we get this over with now? Yagami-san, I should be able to get a read on the bugs right after you set them. Just come on out when you're all done. Got it. So, you ready? Yeah, good to go. <laughs> it's really not that funny. Stylish as ever, Tashiro. Me and you, we gotta hit the club sometime. Hey, Tashiro. All clear at Emerald Hills? Glad you can take care of yourself. We got enough to worry about looking for Yagami. By the way, mind keeping an eye on the office for me? Gonna head to the convenience store and grab a snack. I'll be back in five. Uh-huh. Suspicious. Suspicious. Hey. Suspicious. Hey, it's Yagami. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Now hurry up and get your ass down here. Got it.
hell are you doing, Tashiro? You know no going in the boss's room without permission. If anything happened, it'd be on me. The hell are you ignoring me for? Say something, damn it! What the? Yagami! Uh, guess I'm busted, huh? You got balls climbing into the lion's mouth knowing you're just gonna get eaten! Don't let this asshole leave here alive! You're not getting away that easy. Say your prayer, shithead! Uh, whoa, we have laws against those, you know. Laws? Says the guy who's trespassing! Damn it. How am I gonna get out of this? What the? That'll work. That was a close one, Yagami-san. Did you cut the lights back there? Yep. Heard everything thanks to the bugs. Flipped the breaker at the last second. Thanks, Sugira. You saved my life. Won't be safe for long if we stick around here. Let's get moving. Yeah. <sighs> I think we're safe now. What about the bugs? Can you hear what they're saying? Give me a sec. That's all it takes? Yep. Well, everything seems fine. Huh? It sounds like they're making a call already. To the man of the hour himself, Hamura. They're reporting what just went down. Can you tell where he's hiding? One sec. Uh, something about Chohan? Isn't that some kind of dice game? Guess he's at a gambling hall then. But where can you play Chohan? If we want to gamble, all we have to do is ask a gambler. And I think I know just the spot. Oh, you mean the casino? The one under Koibrai? Somebody there has to know where to find Chohan in this town. For sure. Guess in that case. Yeah, I'll handle it from here. Got it. Thanks for the backup, though. Shit, look at the ass on her! Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. Hmm? What do you want? Know anywhere around here a guy can play some Chohan? Chohan, huh? Yeah, I think there's a joint in the Champion District. Heard their exclusive is all fuck. You actually know a place? Could you maybe tell me the name? Mmm, I could, sure, but... But what? Check her out. 
That chick's got the goods, right? Uh, sure. I guess she's got... goods? What's your point? I want to have a drink with her. Can you make introductions for me? I have to be your wingman? Good-looking guy like you's got a better chance of sealing the deal, right? I mean, look at me. Ugh, oh, I can't believe this. You better tell me if I do this for you. Of course, man! <laughs> Mind if I join you? Please, take a seat. You come here often? You bet. There's three things I love in life. Stiff drinks, risky bets, and handsome men. Oh yeah? Just once. I want someone to seduce me like they do in the movies. Uh, okay. Can I buy you a drink? Make it a martini. A gambling woman's drink. Let me guess. Vodka martini. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> right you are. You're a bigger movie buff than I expected. Mind if I buy you one? My friend will probably want to join us too. Oh, you only want to drink? Uh huh? I just told you I'm in the gambling mood. So, what do you say? We spice things up a bit. Here's the deal. I'll drink with you, if you beat me at poker. Okay, it's a deal. Well, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> oh, this should be good. Seems I won. That's life. You win some, you lose some. Well, what a good sport. You know the game pretty well. Bet you never lose too big, huh? <laughs> There's something of an art to it, isn't there? What a team you and I would make. All right. I'll join you for this drink. Really? Great. Let me grab my friend. Hey, why are you the one having all the fun? She agreed to drink with us after a game. Now go grab some seats. Wait, seriously? Ha, I owe you for this, man! You're damn right you do. I need to know where I can play Chohan, remember? Oh, yeah. It's in the Champion District. Only shop without a sign, you can't miss it. Bar with no sign. Knock on the shutter three times, and they'll ask you what you want. You respond with the password, Can I talk to Moon? Knock three times, then the password. Next, they'll say he says he wants the steak, to which you respond, Chateaubriand, blue. And that's it. Joints underground, but clearly that ain't a problem for you. Thanks. That's a huge help. Now let's get drinking. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to pass. I need to go. You're lost, pal. An ass like that is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. Oh yeah, she likes vodka martinis. Order it shaken, not stirred. The hell's that supposed to mean?
Yo. Kaito-san. Sugiura told me you'd be here. So, you find out where Hamura is? Yep. A gambling hall in the Champion District. Really? Where at? Apparently the only store without a sign. They've got the club set up underground. Huh. Fancy. By the way, Talk. What happens when you find Hamura? The first thing I'm gonna do is vent. After everything he's done, he deserves it. If I'm honest, I'd take more joy in seeing him squirm than finding the mole right about now. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Let's go. Let's roll, talk. Yo, hold up. Hmm? I don't see a sign anywhere. This is where we get in the gambling hall? Can I talk to Moon? Says he wants steak. Pick one for him. Chateaubriand, blue. Thank you for your order. Enjoy your meal. Nice going, Doc. I could go for a steak now. Not exactly an easy man to find. Oh, shit. 
Ozaki! Again, huh? Ready, Tuck? Done yet? Or do you want me to keep hitting you? Oh, fuck you! You hired the thief that stole the money from the office that day. It was all just a setup, wasn't it, Hamura? What, memories of looting you? But it's all water under the bridge, isn't it? Now that I can do this. What about the mole? Everything he does is under your command, huh? How many people has the mole murdered? All those Kyore guys? Shintani? No way those are the only ones. Shintani, before he got murdered, was so sure the Mole wasn't part of some Yakuza war. He wouldn't have said that without information to support it. And so, you had to silence him. Made the Mole use Ayabe's gun to hide the trail. Like hell I did. Shintani knew your secret. He knew the Mole murders were linked to the ADDC. All this comes right back to 89, doesn't it? Shove it up your ass! Now hands off, or I'm gonna fucking kill you! You seriously never <laughs> listen, huh? Hamura. The center's director, Kido. Is he the one who's behind all this carnage? Is it Kido? Is that not right? <laughs> Start talking quick, asshole. Not feeling it, huh? Then how about I kill you right here? Kaito san! <laughs> Kido's not our guy. 
And the phone call. When Shintani tried to reach the center, he wasn't trying to talk to Director Kido at all. It does seem we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. Hashiki, too. He was trying to get information out of Shono until someone got to him. So the one I want... It's Shono, huh? Right, Hamura? Hey! Fire! Fire! Guess someone's got it out for us, huh, Talk? Captain! Kaito-san! Like his shithead boys took him out of here. <sighs> Holy hell. I'm just glad we're still alive. <sighs> <sighs> 